Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Primetime TV. I'm Sam Gordon with now Super Bowl champion Adam Butler. We're going to take uh, a little back to the past tour of games on the PlayStation 2 with Dragon Ball. We're anime fans and we're going to be competing in the what is second probably to the Super Bowl. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> so, the Mansfield Holiday Inn has graciously allowed us to use their hotel. Uh, feel free to look them up. They are in Mansfield and they do a lot of great events. Wow, I song? definitely remember this. Absolutely. And to be honest, this was actually one of my uh, my first uh, one of my first games on GameCube actually. I actually didn't I didn't have PlayStation 2. I had GameCube. I got it for I wanna say my ninth or tenth birthday. I was in the fourth grade. Uh, and my parents they surprised me, you know, and my friends and this is one of the games they bought. Alright, so we're gonna start so I sacrificed uh Look at this. Yeah, I sacrificed player one for Goku. Of course you're gonna pick Goku, man. Absolutely. Of course you're gonna pick Goku. I'm gonna keep Koho you, man. Alright, come on. Let's do it. I actually played with uh with Goku and um, Jump Force. Really? Yeah. yeah. I Goku, just bought Goku Jump Force. He's a beast in Jump Force. Right? Really? He's a beast in Jump Force. Uh, Absolutely. Want to play the hyperbolic time chain? Yeah, this is it. Oh, yeah. It's better than the um, than the tournament thing, because the tournament, like, you can actually bring somebody out. Right? Yeah. There we go. Okay, I remember it. Yeah, I remember it. Oh, you're going to spam that now, huh? Oh, So, um, when did you first get into anime, man? When did you first, like, really, like, get into, like, whole, the whole Dragon Ball thing? When you were, you know, like, five, six, two? Yeah, pretty much. Because my cousin introduced me to it, uh, basically. And so, basically, in your off time, in your off time, you're, you know, you're watching anime, you're playing video games and stuff like that. Obviously, you're busy now with getting ready to defend that big, giant ring that you just got, man. What? Uh, Are you serious? Sorry, I had to focus. I had to beat you that time. Oh, of course you did. Couldn't let you beat me that game. Oh, all right, all right. Okay, but, um... Obviously, you're really busy with, uh, uh, with getting ready to defend that big, giant ring you just got, yeah. my man. But, uh... You pick, you get time to play video games a lot in your downtime as well. It's something you really like to do. Yeah, yeah, definitely, all the time. Yeah, and you're on YouTube with, uh, you're on YouTube playing with guys. And yeah, you know what? <clears throat> um, like I was a while back, but um, the more and more we got into the playoffs, I was like, oh, I gotta you know, yeah, yeah. push that yeah. to the side. And I mean, obviously it paid off, but I definitely played with some of the guys. Yeah, and uh, what, like, what do you take, you know? Like, what symbolisms, you know, from, like, anime persistence that you used in your regular day-to-day -day life, what has inspired you from anime in your day -to in your adventures? I mean, a, a lot of the anime is just, um, they inspire you, like, you know, to never quit and keep going. Uh, and just, you know, understand that your situation can be a lot worse. And then no matter what your situation is, you can always, you know, come back from it or come out of it. You know, like, if you look at... One of the new ones is um, Black Clover. Mm. I don't know if have you, have you watched it. I have that not movie? seen that one. Asta didn't, he wasn't able to use magic, right. you know, growing up. Like, it just never came to him. So, like, there's a time period where, like, kind of like how every one of us goes to school, there's a time period where everyone receives something called a grimoire. And it's basically something that's compatible with your style of magic. Uh, so, finally, um, after Asta spent all those years not being able to use magic, finally everyone gets a Grimoire. And at first he doesn't, but then his Grimoire pops up out of nowhere and it's like the strongest Grimoire. Mm. And so, like now he's training to become what he calls like the something king. I forgot what it's called. It's like, <laughs> I, I, I couldn't answer that, but hey, it's Oh, the wizard king, the, sorry. All right, Yeah, all he's right. gonna become the wizard king. Sounds but, like you're really passionate about this, man. Oh, definitely. Oh, I'm man. passionate about a lot of, a lot of animals. But Naruto's that, you know the story of Naruto. Oh, definitely, you know, definitely. Real, no parents, you know, and he came out on top. You right. Know? And, like, you, you've, you know, you went from undrafted free agent 
and you've come out on top, and now you have the biggest Super Bowl ring in Israel. How was it getting that ring, man? It, you know what? To be honest, that kind of made me feel like Naruto felt when he became Hokage. Really? You know, like, I mean, how much higher can you get than a Super Bowl? Right. You know, I mean, you could get six, like Tom. Right. You know, I mean, yeah, but that, that's like being president six times, you know what I mean? Like, you're, you're the best of the best, you know, six times in a row. I mean, you're, you're sitting there on top, you know, and everybody's gunning for you now. Like, you won the World Martial Arts Tournament. Now everybody's gunning for you. You know, how does it, you know, does it add a little bit of sense of urgency, you know, to play a little better since everybody's going to be giving you that extra push? since you were on the top. I mean, the New England Patriots have always been the gold standard, mm -hmm. but now as Super Bowl champions again, there's a, is there more of a sense of urgency, would you say? No, I mean, we just, we have our formula, and you know, we just do what we do. Uh, we work hard, um, and it pays off for us in the end. We'll answer more questions later on, but I want to beat you in this. All right, come on. I want to beat you. Oh, oh, come on, oh, no, no! Right. I keep shortening my combos right now. Oh. Very good. Yes! Come on! Championship. <laughs> <laughs> so look, so to like deflect it back, you mm -hmm. just you tap the guard button. Tap so the guard You just tap, tap X, yeah. So like if I'm like just sitting there shooting and just tap the... Alright, one last match. I'm going to be Gohan this time. Oh, you're struggling with Piccolo a little bit there, I see. Go Gohan's one of the people that it's very hard to hit them. Because he's smaller. Yeah. <laughs> Now I'm getting frustrated. Oh no 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 no! No ah, yes! No! Yes! Oh, yes! No! Yes! Yes! No! Now I see why you picked this thing. Yeah, because I can win easy. You purposely did that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you want to ring me out? Ring me out. I don't. Want oh, I got the come Oh, you're you're done now. You're done now. You think so? Yeah, I think so. Oh. oh, where's my Kamehameha? Oh, he's coming to the corner. So he's dead. Dude, Gokhan, uh, Gohan in his in his form when he reaches Super Saiyan 3, I think. Does no, Super Saiyan 2, actually. Yeah. During the Cell Saga. Mm -hmm. So powerful. He rips Cell's kids apart. Oh, the Cell Jr. Cell Jr. I'm going to ring you out. No, you're not. I'm winning. No! No! Yes! We're tied now, 3-3. Three, three. We gotta go one more and then we'll go to Budokai 3. Alright. Oh man. Dude, we've already been playing for 30 minutes. Really? Seriously, it man. Doesn't seem like it, I no. know! Yep, where does the time go? We'll be having fun. How is Jump Force? I haven't opened it yet because I haven't had the time. It's good. The only thing is you if you think I'm spamming on this game, you can spam you on have, that game. You have no idea. You have no idea. It's so annoying. Where's the Nimbus Cloud when you need it? <laughs> I'm gonna ring you out. No, you're not. No, you're not. No! I just told you I'm gonna ring you out. I am genuinely upset. Look, bro, I told you I wasn't gonna go easy on you.